I guess in this video, I'm just gonna be painting up these incredibly old halflings. Gruffy Crow. Ah! Okay, so you might have seen my recent little uh, Mithril Miniatures video. Uh, so my friend who gave me that guy dropped these off at the same time. So I'm just going to give them a super quick paint job and show you what these old school halflings look like next to all the ones in my army. I don't know if you guys will be able to make that out, uh, but that, I believe that says Games Workshop 1984, uh, which if that's the case, uh, these were designed two years before I was born. So they do have a little bit of age to them. I'm sorry if any of the things I do to them in this video is deemed sacrilege, but the first thing I do, I'm going to put them on these little square bases. And I'm using minimal amounts of super glue on here because A, it doesn't really need much more, and B, I want to make it so you can uh, sort of reclaim these if you if they ever needed to. That's more than enough. Now I have been asked to cover some of these integral bases, including the bits where it says the name, uh, but I'm not filing anything off. Uh, we'll keep that all underneath. So what I'll do instead is I'm just going to use a little bit of this watered down filler to build up round the bases. But it does seem a shame to uh, uh, cover up these little words that say halfling on each of them in case you were unsure as to what they were. So we'll let that dry and then we'll just file it back a little bit to make it even neater. So now I've got these guys all nicely based up. We're going to start off with some flesh colours. Uh, this is GW Ratskin Flesh that I've started using as a base. Don't forget the feet that I tend to when I'm painting halflings. I'm straight up following that up with some Kislev Flesh. And do you know what? I don't think it'd be the end of the world if you left it there. But what I will be doing is adding some Rattling Flesh Shade. Okay, I think I'm done with the skin tones on these guys. Just a re-highlight of the Kislev. I think they're looking quite smart. I'm going to go around and do what little bits of silver there are. And this is a relatively bright silver. I will be washing it. And I'm going to get you to chain mail. Actually, maybe that was too bright. I'm going to switch to a pig iron here. Do his little helmet. And his tankard here on the side. And then I don't think there's any metal on this guy. Just got the slightly broken uh, shepherd's sort of crook on this one. In hindsight, if I thought about it, I could have probably kind of rebuilt that with a little bit of green stuff. But actually, I think it looks kind of cool. Sort of broken. Okay, so I'm going to do this these guys um, blue and white. And that kind of matching with some of the halflings that I've done for stuff like Art World. And I think it's quite a good halfling colour scheme. Uh, so this is McCrae Blue and Celestia Grey. Nice base colours. Nice rich blue. And I think all three of these guys will get a relatively sort of similar scheme of these colours. Uh, this guy I'm going to do half and half I think. I'll do blue on this side and white on the other. And as you can see his outfit's already got a line down the back there. So that'll make it nice and easy for me to uh, make that nice and neat. And then the two shields I'll probably do in sort of a, a cross pattern because I think that always looks pretty cool. Something along those sort of lines and then fill the rest in with white. So yeah, so I'm going to do the opposite sides of all the uniforms in the grey. I'm going to do some other bits uh, with this darker grey. So that'll be like his hat, trousers, this guy's cloak I think. To sort of round out the sort of colour scheme. So the trick with these shield designs is to kind of just cut back across the blue because obviously we drew the lines so they're going to be a little bit more than the perfect quarters. So I use the second colour to kind of cut that back across and make sure everything lines up. And then we fill that in, we should get a nice neat and tidy point in the middle. Not perfect, uh, but then you don't want to do anything too perfect on a mini like this, I don't think. So that's most of the basic colours blocked out now. We've got the blue and the white and the grey. A little bit of yellow on the feather, I think no yellow on any of them. I've gone back and redone the bows in this spear uh, point, I think it's called, uh, from Foundry. So one of the last main bits we need to block out is going to be out all the leather parts. I'm going to start that in this bootstrap leather. I'm going to catch all of these belts and straps, making sure to get the uh, at least the tops of them as well, probably the bottoms as well, 
uh, all the little bags and pouches and all that sort of stuff. Probably also get that little trumpet in some bronze, I think, rather than doing it in uh, horn. On the uh, fork and on the bow, I've added some uh, Xandri dust in stripes to kind of do wood effect, and then some more Xandri dust around the top there. And we're almost there with the base colours on these guys. Uh, just need to finish off the hair. So this guy's getting a Mornfang brown, and this guy's got uh, some Menoth white, which is a sort of ivory colour. Okay, so the main two colours are going to get highlights. I've got this uh, sky blue and and this uh, stark white. Some Dawnstone on the grey, that should uh, sort of patch that out. Basically for those wider areas, just lighter colours of what's already on there. They also look a bit demonic at the moment because I've painted all the eyeballs in, in black, which was in preparation for my eyeball dotting. There you go, that's substantially less sinister. All right, before I start too many highlights, actually, I'm going to go and do some washes. So we're going to do this black wash um, on any of the metal parts and the old classic earth shade on some of the, and the leather and stuff and also on the hair, uh, some of the hair anyway. I'll probably use a bit of soft tone on this guy's hair just to make that a bit more blonde. There's not much that beats the fun of putting uh, a wash over chainmail, I don't think. I love it. Brings out all the little details. I'm also using this black wash just in a couple of other random places. I like the black of this shield just to get that sort of bit of shadow under there, just in his arms. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Uh, quite happy with this guy. Did a sort of sepia wash on the hair, highlighted up all the cloak and the sleeves and the shields. I'm quite liking the sort of little retro look they've got going on. A little bit of brass on his belt buckle and on the horn that I've obviously washed along with the leather. So before I can get a really good idea of what these minis are going to look like finished, uh, I'm going to do the bases. So that's going to start off with some Rhinox hide. And then we'll take it up through this sort of medium brown and do a little tiny dry brush of the men off white. So I'm feeling a bit like that on the bases. So these guys are looking pretty good. I feel like I'm still missing something. Um, so I'm going to let everything on these dry and cure overnight and have a look at, another look at these tomorrow and just see if there's something I can do to sort of tidy these up or liven them up or something. Okay, I took some flayed on flesh and did some extra little dots of highlights on their faces and neatened up a couple of little bits to highlight the hair on this guy, for instance. I think I'm pretty happy with them. I think they've come out quite nicely. They're some of the oldest sculpts I've ever worked on. Some of the details are a bit sort of grungy but I think I've managed to make quite neat miniatures out of them nonetheless. Okay and now I've added some of the smallest tufts I could find, a little bit of static grass, uh, so currently that looks a bit pale but that'll dry clear and it'll look a lot better in a sec uh, when that starts to dry. And yeah these guys are all finished off, uh, I hope Darren likes them and they are ready to join whatever army he wants to put them in. And that's all for this video, please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more, and as ever, thanks for watching, bye!